Okay, this lesson we are going to continue combining integers with models. On Tuesday, we learned how to model combining integers using integer chips, also called counters. So as a refresher, our first example here is negative four plus negative two. So I'm gonna draw my four negative counters, label them with a negative symbol. Then my second integer is negative two, so I'm gonna start my second integer on a second row, and I'm gonna keep my counters or my chips lined up, and here are my two negatives. And then looking, I notice that they're all negative, so I just count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six negatives. So negative four plus negative two equals a negative six. In our second example, we have five plus a negative three. So we start off with our first integer, which is positive five. So I'm gonna draw five positive integer chips. And our second integer is negative three. So starting on the second row, I'm gonna draw three negatives. And I'm gonna to try to keep my chips lined up. Now, when I look here, they're not all the same. I have positives and I have negatives. And remember, we talked about this. We talked about zero pairs how if you have a positive combined with a negative, that they cancel each other out, they make zero. And so we need to get rid of all of our zero pairs. So we're just going to draw one big old loop around them, and we're going to pull it out. And when you pull out these zero pairs, you're left with two positives. So five plus negative three equals two, or positive two. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to model combining integers, but we're going to use number lines. And we're actually gonna learn how to read the number line models. You will need your notes. You have a notes worksheet. You're going to need to fill it out as we go through the video. Make sure you pause when needed so that you can get all of your notes down. Okay, negative two, I'm sorry, negative six plus two can be represented on a number line like the one below. I want you to pause the video and explain in your own words what the model represents. Look at it and see what you're noticing about the numbers on the number line. Okay, let's see what you, see if you agree with me. First of all, I see that there is this line and the line goes from zero to negative six. So the length of this line is a negative six. Then I see that there's another line above it that starts at negative six, but this time it goes to the right and it stops at negative four. Well, if it's going to the right, hmm. If it's going to the right on a number line, when we move to the right, we're getting bigger. So that must mean that it's a positive because if it was a negative, it would still go to the left. And if I'm going from negative six to negative five, and then from negative five to negative four, I moved two whole units. And if I stopped at negative four, I don't see any other lines, then that must be my answer. So negative six, plus two equals a negative four. Do you agree with this statement? Yes. So let's talk about the steps, and you're gonna to need to write these down in your notes, just where there's some extra space at the top of your notes or in this section of your notes. You're gonna write the steps. You could also write it in your journal. Okay, step number one you must find the line that starts at zero. So I would definitely say for step one, you need to put starts at zero, and where it stops is your first number of the problem. Okay, so looking here at our number line, here's the zero right here. The line that starts at zero is this line right here. And it's going to the left. Because it goes to the left, that means it's going to be negative. Now, if it was going to the right, it would be positive. But this one goes to the left, and where does it stop? It stops at negative four. This is your first integer in your problem, negative four. 
and we're going to combine that with our another number. So step two, go straight up to the second line. Your second number is going to be the second line. So here's our second line right here. Okay. So we stop the first line at negative four. We're going to go straight up. I know it's kind of hard to see. Straight up to the second line. Then we're going to count the number of spaces the second line covers. Okay, this is going to be the second number of your problem. Again, if it's going to the right, it's a positive direction, it's a positive integer. If it were going to go to the left in the negative direction, then it would be a negative number. In this case, ours goes to the right, so it's going to be a positive number. And counting the spaces, if we start at negative 4, to go from negative 4 to negative 3 is 1. From negative 3 to negative 2 would be 2 spaces. From negative 2 to negative 1 would be 3 spaces. From negative 1 to 0 would be 4 spaces. We're not stopping at 0 because our line stops at 1. So we have to go one more space from 0 to 1. And if you count, we want a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces to the right, so it is a positive 5. And our answer is where our line stops. It stops at 1. So negative 4 plus 5 equals 1. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Step 4, where the line ends is the answer to the problem. So the line ended at positive 1, so our answer was positive 1. Now let's put those steps to use and let's see if we can read this number line. Okay, so step 1 is what? Always start at 0. So here's 0. This is the line that starts at 0. And this line goes to the right, which means it's going to be positive and if you look, it stops at 8. So our first number is going to be an 8. And I actually like to write the numbers on top of the lines themselves so that I can easily see what the integers are. And it's going to be 8, and I'm going to put the little positive symbol in front of it so that I remember that it's a positive 8. So this is our expression. And our first number is going to be 8. Okay, our next step is that we need to start where we stopped. So we look for the second line and we're going to start it right here, right where our first number, let me make this a little bit darker, right where our first number ended. And our second line is going to the left. So does that mean that it's positive or negative? It means it's going to be negative. And now we need to count the number of spaces. So it's going to stop right here at 3. So we know our answer is going to be 3 because that's where it stops. But let's count our spaces. It goes from 8 to 7, that's one space. 7 to 6 is 2. 3 spaces, 4 spaces, 5 spaces. We moved 5 units, I shouldn't have said spaces, but 5 units to the left which makes it a negative 5. So our negative 5 is going to be our second integer. So our numerical equation is going to be 8 plus negative 5 equals 3. And if you want to put the negative 5 in parentheses, you can. Okay, I want you to try this one on your own. Pause the video and see if you can come up with the numerical equation. See if you can fill in the blanks. Once you've got your answer, come back and check it. Okay, let's see how you did. Step one is you're always going to start at zero. Which line starts at zero? This bottom line. And how many units did it move? It moved to negative two. So it moved two units to the left. It makes it negative two. That is our first integer. Our second integer is our second line. So we're going to start where our first line ended. We're going to start right here at negative two. And you'll notice that this line moves in the right direction which means it's going to be a positive. And we need to figure out how many units it moved. So from negative 2 to negative 1 is 1 unit. Negative 1 to 0 would be 2. From 0 to 1 would be 3. There's 4, 5, 6, 7. And our line stops at 6. So we moved a total of 8 units 
to the right. So it is a positive 8. And our equation would be negative 2 plus 8 equals, where did it stop? It stopped at 6. Negative 2 plus 8 equals 6. How are you doing? Let's try another one to make sure you've got it. Uh-oh. What do you notice about this one? There's three lines. That means that there are going to be three integers that you are combining. So this is a challenge. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can do this one. Then come back and check your answers. Okay, let's see how you did. Step one is you're always going to start where? The line that starts at zero. So it's this bottom line. We're going to the right, which means it's going to be a positive. And how many units did it move? It moved all the way to 18. And be careful of how the number line is being numbered. It's going by twos, not by ones. All right, so that's our first integer, positive 18. So 18. Now this line, the first line ends at 18, but we have another line, the second line that begins. And this time the line is going to the left. Is that going to be a positive or a negative? It's going to be a negative. It's moving in the negative direction. So we need to count. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, but did you see my mistake? Did you catch my mistake? I was counting by ones, wasn't I? And I just got done saying, watch the number line, it's going by two. So let's try that again. We're gonna go, there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and then it doesn't go all the way to four. It doesn't go two more spaces, it goes one more space, so 13. So this one is a negative 13. That is our second integer, negative 13. And then where this line ends, we have another line that starts. Let me change my color here. The next line starts right here, and we're going to the right. So this is going to be the positive because it's going to the right. All right, so from five to six is one, then from six to eight is gonna be two more, so that's three. Add two more to make five add two more to make seven, add two more to make nine, two more makes 11, two more makes 13, and this one stops at 20, so we need to go two more to make 15. So this is a positive 15. And our answer is going to be where this last line stops. It stopped at 20. So 18 plus a negative 13 plus 15 equals 20. <coughs> if you're confused, just rewind the video and watch them again. Okay, so let's take a look at your homework. Let me put this up here. I'm gonna go to homework. All right, here's your homework. The first page of your homework, you're just looking to see the number lines, what number line represents nine plus negative five. So you can do this by saying, okay, my first integer needs to be a nine. So again, go through your steps. You're always gonna start at zero. So if I start at zero here, the first integer that's being represented is not a positive nine, is it? Because we need to go into the right direction. This one is going to the left. So which one goes to the right? Well, this one's just one line, but we're combining two integers. This one goes from zero to nine, the right. So this has got the positive nine. This one goes from zero to nine. This one's also positive nine. So it looks like it could be C or D. Let's look at our second integer. It's a negative five. For it to be negative, which direction do we need to move? To the left. So if I look at C, I'm going to start where positive nine ended, 
And let's see if we're moving five. We are going to the left, so we know it's negative. So here's one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units. It looks like this one is our negative five, but let's check D just to make sure. And you can see D, the second line, moved way more than negative five, way more than five units. So the answer would be C. Okay, sometimes your models might be with the integer chips. Like number two. The model below represents negative six plus three. What is the solution? It actually shows you, hey, if it's a darkened circle, a filled in circle, it's negative one. If it's a empty circle, it's a positive one. So if we look here, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six negatives, and we're combining it with three positives. And if you'll notice, they're different, right? They're not all negatives or they're not all positives. So we're gonna have to have zero pairs. Positives and negatives cancel out. So how many zero pairs do you think we're gonna have? Hopefully you said three. These three negatives with these three positives make zero pairs. So we're gonna loop them and pull them out. And what are we left with? We're left with three positives. So negative six plus three is going to equal three or three positive. And let's take a look at your back side of your homework. You're going to write an expression for each model, then you're going to model the expression using integer chips to find the sum. All right, so our expression for number one, again, pretty easy, start at zero. We're moving to the right, so is that a positive or a negative number? It's a positive. We ended at four, so our first integer is going to be four. To that, we're going to combine what the second line represents. The second line started at four, and it moved to the right, which means it's also positive. And how many units did it move? Well, it just went from four to five, so it only moved one unit. So this number line represents four plus one. Now we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna model it using integer chips. We want four positives, one, two, three, four, make them positives, and to that, we're going to add one more positive. So if you, they're all positives, count them up, you get a total of five. So four plus one equals five, which is what matches down here, right? Our second integer stopped at the five. So that was our solution. And that's how you do tonight's homework.